Lorna Sko joins me now and she is Vice President of the Global Oral Health Inequalities Network. Lorna, thank, thank you for joining us. Yes, sir. Can you tell us first what progress has been made in oral health over the last 25 years? We've actually seen tremendous improvements in oral health uh, generally all over the world, especially in relation to dental caries. Uh, we've also seen improvement in periodontal disease where we 30 years ago thought it was something affecting the whole population being epidemic, but it is not. But whereas we've seen this general improvement, uh, we have found out or discovered that inequalities is an increasing and bigger problem affecting everywhere. How can these people be reached? How can the oral health of these groups be improved? Well, it turns out that these people who are having uh, the burden of all diseases also have the burden of all other kinds of diseases. So the global burden of diseases are very big but there's one particularly minor group who gets all the diseases. Okay. This is very costly for the health services, so more and more spread all over the world, politicians are being aware that we can't afford this. It's not fair, it's not ethic, but it's also certainly too economic a burden everywhere. So we have to find other ways now. It shows that clinical prevention can help some, but it doesn't change, you know, chair side in itself, does not change um, the inequalities in health. And, and are there any plans as to how to do that? Yes, there are many people concerned with this major problem, like the World Health Organization, uh, like FDI, we're here, a big concern here, IADR, politicians all over the world are talking about this. And there's like uh, one say, which we hear, um, everywhere is health in all policies. One thing that we know is a good way to change this is through policies and policies you can have generally systematically in all countries. But you've got to have healthy policies and think in health in other types of policies. And just finally, do you feel confident that, that as a, a, a world population we can achieve that of improving improving oral health in the groups that... So. Oh, I'm sure that we can reach them, but we're going to uh, want to reach them, and there's got to be a political power to do this. So there are many stakeholders involved. Lorna, thank you very much for joining us. Pleasure.